Hey guys, um, coming to you today with uh, hopefully a quick video uh, and an embellishment share. Um, I I'm going to quickly go over um, the embellishment and how I make them. Um, and then as I'm making the, uh, I'll, I'll make one and, and explain it. And then um, I'll talk a little bit about um, catching up with me. So, um, first let me show you the first, this is going to be, um, these are page tabs, um, paper, uh, no, not paper clip, safety pin page tabs that I created to go with the um, uh, vintage purples bohemian journal that we've been working on. Um, so, just made, um, I'm making three per signature because we have two signatures so uh, I'm going to be six uh, all together um, first let me show you the ones that I've done and then I'll explain everything um, with you um, so I just I this is one that's just got a little bit of the bohemian um, fabric um, with um, the embroidery and stuff in there that I recently acquired a month ago and then the safety pin and then on the safety pin where it opens up I have put some beads or some dangles or um, you know some pearls or something on there and so like this one just has um, it's got a, a metal piece and it's got a big uh, black and crystal uh, bead there and then it's got some smaller beads on each side um, this again is some more of the purple bohemian, but not, um, this is the plain purple. And then on this one, um, I put a little bit of lace and then a flower, a purple flower with a, a blue bling in it. And then on the other side, I decorated it as well. Whereas this one, the fabric already had the decoration and I kind of liked it just kind of simple-ish. Um, this one, I added some extra bits to it. Um, and another flower on this side. This is sari silk and then the fabric um, to kind of kind of match the other side, but not um, because they're going to be on each side of the page, right? So, and then on this one, again, it's just got a couple different pearls, a couple different glass beads. And then this one, I actually added a dangle. Um, and I think it, let's see, there we go. So you guys can see, oh, let me bring in focus oh my goodness I guess I'm a little rusty oh, although sometimes I wasn't that great with focus <laughs> to begin with so we'll just go with that we'll just we'll just say that I'm out of I'm out of practice um, but yeah it's got some oh, let's see there we go so it focuses there so it's a little bit of a dangle and the, yeah um, that dangle was made that way. Um, it's part of some of the bead stuff I have. Um, I came from a jewelry finding, I think, that I got at, uh, I'm not going to say Hobby Lobby. I'm going to say probably more Michaels. Um, but it's got a little star on there, a little metal star, and then it's got a, a bead dangle. So it's going to sit, this one's going to sit on the page like this, but for, you know, and then, so this will be the first side you see um, with the head pointing down and then when you flip the page over um, you'll see this way so there's that one this one is again part of pieces of the fabric that I had gotten in the big pack and then on this one um, it's it's kind of very uh, shiny because it's got gold thread in it so I didn't want to add anything on top plus of the decal of the flower I kind of liked it as it is um, but I did add in a pearl, some glass beads. Oh my goodness. There we go. Uh, that's probably better. I'm probably getting too close. Um, and then a metal, a metal piece, um, a metal bead actually, and then another regular seed bead. So yeah, the smaller beads are seed beads. And so this one's going to go like this. This will be the first page. And then, you know, you'll just, uh, where's the paper? Um, here, let's use this. This will work. So this is your page. So it, my plan is, is to um, glue them onto the page. 
whichever way. And so now you have um, bead jewel, uh, no, journal, journal jewelry is what I like to call these kinds of things. Um, so, and then when you flip it over, you have a more plainer side, but you still get the decoration of the beads and stuff on the safety pen. Um, so that one will go like that. This one will go, it'll get it attached this way. And um, dangle off the, the side. And I like the paper, it, the, I don't mind that the, the safety pen kind of hangs off like that. It just kind of gives to the extra. And then again, when you fold it over, you have this one. And the flowers that I put on this one um, either have a bling in the middle, they came like that, or this one's got a bling in the middle and it's kind of shiny. Um, so this one is going to go up like that. And depending on how you, uh, you know, or, oh no, this one was pointing down because this was the front side. Not that it matters, it's, you know, kind of the same on each side. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, they just kind of, they're just kind of, I just like them. I just like journal jewelry. And then this one, this one is some of that um, lace, I've, uh, lace curtain I've been tearing at. And then I put um, a flower, uh, a paper flower. I, I have a box of some some paper flower, you know, bits um, that aren't full flowers. And some of them are the bling flowers in here. Um, yeah. So uh, I took a, a flower and then I put, uh, again, some uh, just some thread, some of my thread bits from my jar um, on there. And then I sewed the button. And I did that first, and then um, I came in and I attached the flower on this side with the bling in the middle to cover up my sewing. Um, and so this one is primarily, um, oh yeah, this is all seed beads and glass beads. Um, let's see, maybe it'll show better against the paper. There we go, you're getting some of the bling there. Um, so this one again is going to go that. Oops. I doubled up this lace because it, you know, was on the, on the more thinner side. Um, yeah, and then it'll just, it'll attach to the page like that, you know, and then you've got the, the tab, right, the journal jewelry tabs, rather. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I like them. And then, yeah. all right, so what I'm going to do is this, let's do this one together. And my safety pens are uh, an inch and a half in length. Um, let me bring you down maybe just a little bit more. Ooh, that's too close, I think. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, let's turn off focus because maybe I'm just not getting... Maybe that's better. I don't know. We'll see on the replay. Um, okay, so, you know, you can open it up or you can just keep it closed and then slide it over. Okay, and then I put that on there. And then what I do is, is I sew first um, on my sewing machine. And I just sew across. I'm going to do that really quick. Just a straight stitch all the way across. Nothing, nothing fancy. Um... So, and if, I, I, I take it a little slow because I don't want to, you know, you don't want to da uh, damage your machine or break your needle. Um, but your machine should um, be able to um, sew right up next to the safety pin. Alright, so 
And then sometimes I, I, I might leave the thread and sometimes I might not, depending on how it looks. Um, this one, I think I'm going to cut it. And I got purple thread, dark purple thread in my machine right now with a cream underlay, uh, under thread, that's fine. So, and then, um, so let's, uh, I like to fluff the, the bottom so it's a little bit jagged and uneven. Um, I'll pull it the sides a little bit. So, you know, I don't want it perfect. And this is supposed to be a, you know, it's a bohemian journal, so it's, a lot of fibers and things. Um, okay, so it's kind of it's kind of messy. And then, so uh, what I pulled out to do this project was um, safety pins, your fabric. Um, again, uh, I have all kinds of different flowers in this box, um, from the softer paper flowers. Um, to the more flattish paper flowers, you know, some with bling in it. Just a bunch of different little flowers that I had, uh, paper flowers and packages um, that don't make a full flower, right? Or like in this case, it's on a it's on a stem or something like that. Um, and then um, I, again, you know, I pulled out my oops, my jar of. Um, Cut, you know, off cuts and stuff from projects and things, you know, bits of fabric and lace and uh, trim and whatever. So I'll grab from that. Um, I brought out buttons. Um, so my jar buttons, I might pull from that. And then um, I have a couple different bins of um, different size beads and metals and, uh, you know, jewelry uh, finding pieces. Um, so on this one, now let me open it up, I like to do this, the, the, the reason why I like to sew this on first is that when you go to open this up and add the beads or whatever that you're going to put on there, this doesn't want to come off. Um, so on this one, yeah, I think I'm going to use this, this is a little uh, metal rose piece, and um, put, this is a little... Uh, rectangle size beads. So let's put, um, let me move my scissors out of the way. Let's see, where are my tweezers? Ah. Alright, so, um, let's see, do I want to put some of those? Oh, a couple of those might be nice. Um, let's add something bright to this one because it's kind of, um, you know, it's just, uh, it's, the fabric's pretty. It's got, you know, um, but let's bling it up a little bit, eh? Um, these don't go in there. These go in there. Um, yeah. mm, I don't know how I put those in the wrong spot, but let's see. Yeah, let's do a big gold bead, um, Let's see, I don't know if this will close with this on there. This is a kind of a bigger bead, but let's see what it'll do. Will it close? It's in the middle. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is fine. All right, and this is, um, I don't know the millimeter bead. This is part of a Happy Mail I got from my friend Chris. Hey, Chris. Love you, girl. Okay, so I would say it's uh, one centimeter by one centimeter approximately. Um, so let's go ahead and put one of these um, bluish, purplish beads on there. And then um, let's put this uh, rectangle bead. The rectangle beads have that um, um, iridescent, uh, like, um, rainbow color on there. So it's got a, a kind of a purple play on there. So I left it. I don't know if I'm going to put this metal one now or if I just want to go with the gold. Let's see here. Hello. Hmm. It is kind of pretty on there, but I think I like the gold better. And depending on the size of beads, um, you know, you can get different sizes on there. Let's see. Let's, I have these more rainbowish beads. Let's put one of those on there. Because I think I'm only going to put be able to get the five. Um, and let's 
Hold up. Oh, I already have another one of those out. Yeah, let's put this one there. Okay. See if it'll... Okay, there we go. So then again, this will go on here. On the page. Like that. Or you can flip it the other way. You know, depend. You know, it's all top, down, or up. That's you know. But then you flip it over, and you have your your uh, jewelry tab on there. Okay, I like that one. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do this one and kind of figure it out um, in my head while I talk to you guys about um, you know content, uh, upcoming content, and things like that about what's happening with me since my surgery so um and you can probably hear it in my voice that i'm i um I, i've had some um some setbacks since the surgery in terms of uh, you know I'm, it's going slow the healing is going slow and um i i've, I've had some some issues that are not um really nice to talk about on camera but um, I've been really sick and um, haven't really been able to eat very well and uh, uh, well in fact I haven't really been eating at all only the last couple days and that's why I'm finally here but in front of the camera have been able to keep something down um, at, at all so um, you know I'm, I'm still taking it uh, day by day bit by bit and um, you know working to get stronger every day um, I think because of my medical issues um, you know and, and this is kind of what the surgeon was a little afraid of um, in terms of my my healing progression is going to be slower and, and that compared to somebody else um, you know that's doesn't have any other mitigating factors um, so let me sew this really quick and this one I'm going to kind of um, scrunch the fabric or how do you want to uh, taper the fabric So it's a little more um, you'll see also. I'm trying to think of my word. I've been dealing with uh, major fiber fog, which is crazy. probably the, the right word for this but um, basically it's just bunched up <laughs> so it's more um, yeah on the um, safety pin um, so let's see let's start here And these don't have to be perfect because, you know, and I, I think the more imperfect they look, the better. Okay, now I've got to decide, do I want to keep the thread? Um, and I'm going to do something more on this one. I've got to decorate it more because, like, the back doesn't really have much on there. Um, you know what, I'm going to leave the threads for now. I'll decide to cut them off later. Um, so, back to what I was talking about. Where I don't remember where I left off a minute ago. Um, but, so, you know, again, things are going really slow with me. And I'm trying to get better. I'm, I'm having a hard time. Um, yeah. So, with that said, um, and as long as I can, I can now, because uh, this is, what, week three, and I'm just being able to eat. 
Um, I, I wasn't able to keep anything down for the last three weeks. Down or in. So take that <laughs> as you uh, want. But, um, oh, that's going to be pretty, I think. Um, oh, this will go nice on this side. And maybe it needs some lace. So, um, with that said, and the setbacks I've been experiencing, I, um, probably for the next um, couple weeks, which, you know, I wanted to, I want to put some of uh, that kind of content out there anyway. Um, I, I'm going to be doing more videos. I don't think I'm going to be able to sit. And that's another thing. My body is not, my body is rebelling. It's trying to, um, how you say, it's trying to, um, not it, it, it's it's just not cooperating it doesn't want to play nice so um it's 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 i, I since the surgery the surgery put me into a full-blown um flare-up um and if you and i'm not even going to go through everything i've been experiencing the past couple weeks it's been it's been kind of rough but um so it, it's my body's rebelling, and I don't I don't think I'm going to be able to sit for uh, a two-hour stream. Uh, maybe oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. I'll put lace on this side because it's gathered lace, so it's really pretty on there. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to sit for a two-hour stream. Uh, at least for the next couple weeks. Um, my, my, uh, so I'm going to be doing videos. I have a whole lineup of stuff I want to do on camera with you guys. Um, projects and whatever. Um, and so for this, you can either use hot glue, but I've just been using my Fabri-Tac or the Beacon 3-in-1 because this is, this, this is pretty much all fabric. These are paper, but the Fabri-Tac will hold that. Um, I don't want to cover up that gold. There we go. That's, so I just, I, you know, you do your layering when you're doing these uh, in, in this fashion. So I'm going to, I'm going to put the glue on this. You, you know, it all depends on the item. Um, will depend on where I put the glue, either on the thing I'm trying to stick or on the actual base itself. But I don't want to put uh, glue on that gold sequin there um, so I'm going to put it on the item hold it for a second um, so yeah so I'm going to uh, you know put up some quick videos uh, and, and I, I don't know how long this one is just yet um, but hopefully it's quicker than, than uh, you know 30 minutes or whatever, 45 minutes even. Um, I don't know where this one's at, but um, yeah. um, and then just hold it, and that way I can let's see. Got to hold it for a minute. Um, so yeah, you know, and and, and you know, I want to put a videos that are shorter for you guys. You know, anyway, I've been talking about it for you know bringing videos back, and I've got lots of things I gotta, I want to do. Um, so I I think that's where at least for the next couple of weeks, no streams, and I cut that side off, so I might as well cut this side off. There, and then. And again, this, this is just, you know, kind of boho, I kind of like that. Try to take off any thread remnants so it doesn't get stuck inside the glue. So we got bling there, so let's just that there, let's hold that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing some uh, quick 30, 45 minute videos, um, with no streams the next couple weeks, and then hopefully, uh, second 
weekend in May. Because uh, how many weekends we have? I, I'm just I'm just kind of giving a, an estimate. So yeah, so like the the weekend of the eighth, hopefully I'll be able to come back to Saturday streams. I don't know. Um, you know, my back is damaged, and um, you know all my other issues and you know the fibromyalgia the rheumatoid arthritis um, I'm just I'm really a hot mess right now and I just I can't sit for very long um, so there we go so then that side's done because this side didn't have any and then this side does and do I want to put anything on there do we want to put anything on there because I'm going to use this flower for the, the beading I think um, let's see Maybe we'll put a dangle, maybe, or maybe it needs more bling. Hmm. Oh, let's see what we've got in here. Um, let's see. So yeah, that's my plan for the next couple weeks. Um, so don't plan on any streams. And um, I, I'm going to give you guys... Um, and I'm going to, um, now that I'm not working in, uh, I'm on the mend, slowly but surely. Um, um, my, my plan is to uh, get back to some regular scheduled programs, if you will. <laughs> Um, and, but I'll have, you know, hopefully, hope, you know, I'll have more, I should have more time now, um, you know, in theory, um, because I'm not working. Um, so, um, you know, a few videos, a couple videos a week, and um, then um, uh, a stream on Saturdays. Um, I just, I can't do it, you know, for a couple more weeks. And, oh, this has stars. But that would, that should be hanging out. That's not what I'm getting at either. Let's see here. Not finding anything in the metal department for this one. This one. Oh. No, it needs something. I don't know what, maybe a button. Let's go to the button department. Well, let me, you know, but I know this is the main bead I want to use on this one. Done with our flowers. Let's put those back. Um. Oh, what's that? Those are one of my favorite buttons that I don't have anymore, so, oh. That's, the button itself is not bright enough. Okay, so let's take out these. I need to get those off the cards. Let's see what we've got um, in buttons. See if there's anything I like um, on here. No, that's pink, not purple. Our, our journal is primarily of the purple color. You know, it might not be too bad, and it'll match that. And that bluey purple. So that one I'm okay with. I could sew that on there. Um, let's see here. Oh, da -da -da, da -da -da. Let's see here. Not finding anything else so far. Um, I'll let me pause and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I think I figured out what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, the only one, the only button I really found that I liked to go with this was this purplish one. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is, um, oh, I think I have sequins that I they're over there, and I'm not going to be able to get up and get them. Um, yeah, I think, I think maybe just uh, sewing that and maybe doing some sewing and some hand stitching. So let me find a nice dark purpley fabric. Go with that. And then um, I'll do some quick, some quick stitching. 
while I finish talking to you guys. Um, yeah, so I hope I hope that um, you know some 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 you know short videos. Uh, they'll be talking because you know with maybe some fast forward, but you guys know I don't I, I can't I can't just do uh, quick uh, videos with no talking. That's just not me. So. Um, and I hope you guys understand, um, you know, that I am trying to come back uh, full strength. It's just taking some time um, just to be able to sit in the chair. That's kind of where I'm at right now. It's just just enough to, um, oh, Lord, what have I done? Okay, there we go, um, to sit in the chair uh, long enough to, you know, because I have uh, up until, like I said, up until today, really, um, I, I hadn't really been able to eat um, or sit. Um, I mean, and, 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 and as you can imagine, I mean, from migraines to, you know, uh, all kinds of, you know, things going on, um, you know, going into a full flare. Uh, as bad as it is, um, has not been really conducive to um, healing as quick as I would have liked, and um, yeah. So, but I, I think I think we can get some things done and have some fun um, while I. Um, you know, and then like I said, even even once I'm back more, I still want to, like I said, continue with a good um, schedule of the videos and the streams. So, yeah. All right. So let's decide. Where do I want that? I want it over here, down more. I want it on this side. So I think right there is good. Right on that, right on that, um, there is a, there you go. So right on that, you know, where the, the flower kind of takes off. Um, and it'll give uh, this fabric a little bit of um, more stability to go around the page. And that's just where I'm going to put the flower. And then we'll, I'll put some... Um, much okay um, I'll do some some knots on here too so yeah that's good enough not quite where I wanted it but it's good enough now, is this a four hole no it's only a two hole it's strange sewing a button two holes because I don't get that same um, I don't know uh, yeah I just don't get that same flow <laughs> oh boy all right so I just put a couple stitches in the button and then let's see let's do something Let's do something over here. Bring in some knot down here. And I just kind of turn it and wrap my thread. Um, right? And then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go back into that same spot or next to it or some however 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 you want your your knot to fall. Oh boy, this is why is what is what is the deal here? Oh, huh? That's there we go. And then you just have yourself a little knot. I don't I don't know if they're called French knots or English knots or they're just they're like little flowery knots and I I like them. Um. So I'm gonna do some. 
I'm right handed so I need to, uh, what do you call it, um, twist from the left because I'm right handed. Um, and I want like to pull the needle with my left, right hand. So, okay. And I don't care if they're not the same size or, okay, let's come up for here. And, you know, the, you'll get a bigger knot the more uh, rotations of the thread you do naturally. Oops. Don't lose your your wrapping there. You're trying to. Oh, I don't want. There we go. I want to hide the stitching when it goes over the page. Okay. So there's a couple, couple little knots. We have our, you know, we have our three knots. We have one button. We have the this. There's a flower. Uh, there you go. Oops. So you can see it's got the flower there. Um, a couple little leaves and each of the. Uh, stuff that's already on there. You can see it's got three sequins on there. So yeah, okay, so I'm okay with that. It's kind of on the the plainish side. Should I put five on there? Maybe put a couple up here. Maybe I'll do that. Make five knots instead of just uh, the three. Let's put that over here. But the knots are simple and fast, and it's you know if you if you have an applique piece that you're trying to put onto something, the knots are a good way to introduce some slow stitching that doesn't require a lot of thought. Um, uh, recently learned that. Okay, then let's do the other one. I probably should have done it over here, but I'm going to come up over here, so it's a little more deliberate and planned. I hope you guys, yeah, I'm sure you guys are seeing what I'm doing for the most part. I know it's kind of hard because this is such a small uh, embellishment, but I think you guys get the idea. And if you're new and if you have any questions, you know, Put them in the in the comments box. There we go. Okay. Oh, now see, yeah, that going with the five I think was a better choice. Okay, so I'm going to tie this off now. Um, I'm just going to go right where I was. I'm not, uh, if you're not, I'm not familiar with embroidery thread, um, it comes with six threads within the, that's why I pulled it apart, because I didn't want it, my thread to be too bulky. Alright, so that's good. Okay, so let's, let's put that away. Let me cut this off now. we still got to put our beads on here. And then we'll be done, and I hope, uh... Hope you give this a try, and you can do it with any any uh, aesthetic. You know, mine just happens to be purple and somewhat vintagey and some uh, very um, you know bohemian type. I I, I feel uh, I don't know if I completely conveyed that, but <laughs> I'll try. I like the way it came out. So uh, where's my tweezers? Tweezers would be good. All right. So. Um, Let's put, um, let's see, that's going to be our center piece. So let's put some, I have some of these um, uh, not real vibrant, uh, they're not real shiny uh, beads. And so I'm going to put, uh, let's put this down first. 
Okay, and then we'll put a pearl on here, but it's not real. It's kind of on the plainish, you know, it's not, there's, there's a difference between like these really shiny ones and these kind of more matte. That's the word I was looking for, matte. Um, I really need to get my foam, my pad out. Or you can work um, uh, on um, fabric or um, felt is a really good thing to work on when you're working with beading. So they don't want to go everywhere. Um, let's see here. Let's, um, this one's very purpley. Let's put that on there. We'll put our little flower on there now. I try to put the same amount of beads on each side of my blinged piece as much as possible. I'm not going to be able to get three on this side, I don't think. Um, but it's okay. But depending on the size of your beads, you know, sometimes you may only have four on there. See this one I might have to take off. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to take off that other one there. That's just too much. I'm going to put the pearl back on here. Um, here we go. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. I like that. Let's see what it's going to look like against our paper. So we have one side. This will be the side I put with the safe pin on the upside. Okay. Um, and then when you turn the page, then you have uh, this flower really go the shininess of this flower and the color goes with the under layer of that. And so this looks nice. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. That's that's all of them guys. Um, if if you're if you've been following along on the um, journal uh, creation side or portion of the series um, you know make yourself up some some blinged up uh, jeweled tabs for your you know journal jewelry tabs uh, use the fabric and lace and buttons and paper flowers and whatever have you um, and if you're not doing bohemian but you're doing a different style do that style um, Let's bring these back into, let's see if I can put it on here so you can kind of see it more. We have a green and a purple one of that. We have our goldish purple one there. And, um, yeah. So they're all different, but they all, um, you know, I think they're pretty. Yeah. All right, guys. I, um, the schedule for the videos, um, Sometimes they may be, uh, uh, I, my goal is to record on Monday and Wednesday and release on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, so keep an eye out. <laughs> Otherwise, um, and let me see, I have the, yeah, let's see, do I need to focus on, will that, does that help? Oh no, that makes it more blurry, I think. Let's, yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, here they are. I hope you'll give them a try. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And if you're following along and you give it, you're trying it and you want to share on social media or just, you know, put stuff in the comments. I, I love to hear from you guys in the video comments. So, yeah. All right, guys. Have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow. Uh, no, I can't say that anymore. Okay. I will see you in the next video, guys. Love and hugs. And I hope you guys are all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.